um, hello everyone my name is Ayana Park and uh, today I'll be explaining you what and what is burning convention and everything which is uh, related to it so I'll explain you guys right so starting with the uh, first thing which is what is convention so a convention is an international agreement between states or nations concerning finance trade or other matters considered less significant than those governed by a treaty and it results in general agreement about procedures or actions which will be taken on specific topics right then um, what is copyright so it is a form of an intellectual property and it is a legal right created by the law of a country that grants the creator of an original work exclusive rights to its use and distribution usually for a limited time right then uh, um, but why copyright so it prevents copying and uh, um, reproduction right uh, it protects and rewards creative efforts which induces the workers to create more and more um, and uh, motivates others to create right you know it uh, gives kind of a uh, um, thing right and uh, uh, like uh, a thing which like uh, I would say a uh, motivation right or encouragement to create something out of their you know or out of their own mind right so uh, the next thing is that it encourages dissemination of copyrighted work which is of public interest uh, the next thing uh, we can see uh, so we can copyright things such as books newspapers brochures um, 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 plays uh, choreographic works music drawings paintings buildings sculptures computer programs even and oral presentations theatrical works and there are other things too so uh, now coming to that what is Bernie convention so uh, it is a uh, so it's a thing that like it's for the protection of literary and artistic works and uh, it was concluded in 1886 uh, it was revised at Paris in 1896 and at Berlin in 1908 Com and it, uh, it, uh, it was completed at uh, Berne in uh, 1914 and it was revised again at Rome in 1928 then at Brussels at, uh, in 1948 and then I read in Stockholm in 1967 then at, at La and then at, at Paris in 1971 and then Finally, it was amended in 1979. So, um, what are the basic principles of Berne Convention? So, these are three principles, which are principle of national treatment, principle of automatic production, principle of independence of production. Right. Uh, so, what are the rights which are protected under Berne Convention? So. The rights which are included are right to translate, right to make adaptations and arrangement to, of the works, right to perform in public dramatic, uh, dramatico musical and musical works, right to recite in public literary works, right to communicate to the public the performance of such works, right to broadcast, right to make reproduction in any manner or form, right to use the work as a basis for an audiovisual work and right to reproduce distribute uh, perform in public or communicate to the public that audio visual work right then uh, the next is that what are the key features of Bernie convention right so um, the first one is that uh, um, it includes um, as you know uh, literary and art work, art work so it includes books pamphlets um, writings lectures addresses uh, sermons in scientific or artistic domain um, dramatical musical choreographic works 
then uh, musical compositions with or without words it includes uh, um, works of drawing painting architecture sculpture engraving and lithography and also photographic works um, it includes works of applied art illustrations maps plans sketches 3d works of geography topography and architecture so these are the key features of uh, um, Berne convention which is literally and artworks and that ends my presentation and thank you for listening thank you